Good morning and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, please leave a comment below and introduce yourself. I'd like to know who's in the community and get to know more about you as you get to know more about me. And for those of you who have been here before, thank you for returning. We are doing a spring cleanse and I love to start the day off with a really large mason jar full of tea. It's super grounding and really helps me. What's up health lovers? It's day five of the Raw Generation Spring Cleanse and I'm feeling really good. I'm not high, I'm not low, I'm right in the middle. I actually feel very calm. I feel like I'm vibrating from the inside out, okay? It's a really good feeling. So I'm on my fifth day and I'm already feeling the benefits of being raw. So this week I did two events for Raw Soul, uh, my restaurant, and I was supposed to do another one today, but I'm just not into overworking anymore. Like, I don't want to burn out. Like, I just don't wanna constantly be in a position where I'm burning myself out, which is why I said, okay, instead of doing 30 days on YouTube, I can just do seven days and I can do, you know, the other days, you know, off camera. But I feel like knowing your limits is a big part to staying healthy. So I did sleep in this morning. I just made a really good salad. And as far as health benefits go, I feel mentally clear. I've been going to the bathroom regularly. And I wanna tell you, I feel properly hydrated for the first time in my life. I'll go more into detail, but first I wanna show you this salad. Okay, so here is the really pretty salad that I'm super excited about. It has cucumber, sesame seeds, hemp seeds, some figs, green olives, jalapenos, kale. And did I miss anything? There's also some Celtic salt, black pepper, and lime juice on the salad. And this is the juice that I made last night. Oh my gosh, it is so delicious. It has cantaloupe, apples, kiwi, and honeydew in it. And I also put this vitamin in it oh, by Mary Roots. I put a packet of this in, um, in the juice. I should have used only half a packet because it made the juice a little sweeter than I wanted it to be. It gave it a slight vanilla peach flavor, but I love the ingredients on the back and I especially love that it has omega-3s in it uh, from algae oil. So although it's a little too sweet for me right now, I'll just sip on that for the next two or three days. Okay, so I'm about to go to the back and enjoy this delicious salad. But first I wanna tell you what I meant about feeling properly hydrated for the first time. So I, I've always heard, you know, with sickle cell anemia, make sure you stay hydrated. And when I go to the doctor, like if they're drawing blood for me, my veins are rolling and more than likely I am dehydrated. And then when I uh, have hospital stays, I'd be on, you know, a whole lot of fluids the whole time I was there. And I'm like, I drink water. How am I not hydrated? But I went to Sprouts, I got that 64 ounce mason jar and I've been intentional about filling it up with juice, with melons and different types of fruits. And so I've been drinking more than I'm eating and then eating raw, you're constantly having wet foods. So my urine has been super clear. I've seen where it got a little, well, not clear. It hasn't been super clear. It's been like the right color yellow and it might get a little darker, but it doesn't step into that orange, okay? And I know you're like, your pee gets orange, but dehydration does that. Like your urine will get orange if you're dehydrated. And it hasn't been for, since I've started the challenge. So I'm so happy about that. And I, I feel like that has been like a big thing. So just having that breakthrough, like I am thanking God because now I'm understanding how to stay hydrated and it's not just drink your water. It's like, okay, fresh juice, uh, spring water with minerals in it, um, raw foods, things of that sort. So yes, we are doing wonderful. So I made a stop by the grocery store because my sweet tooth started talking to me. I got some ingredients to make a nice treat. I have some almonds, some flaxseed, 
some blueberries. I got some coconut wraps and they're raw. I have some tomatoes, sesame seed oil. This is for my skin and I might put a little bit on my dehydrated snacks. I've also been researching blooming rice. So I bought some black rice and I love that it has iron and calcium in it. And I found this peach cider vinegar. Normally I get apple cider. So when I saw this, I just, I was like, I gotta get it. <laughs> so after I put up all the groceries, I attempted to bloom the black rice. Okay, and when I say attempted, it did not go as planned. I waited three days. I don't think black rice can be bloomed. If I'm mistaken, please let me know in the comments. And I even tried wild rice and I just couldn't get it to soften up. So I put it on pause. As far as my sweet tooth is concerned, I decided to make some date energy bites. I rolled them in coconut. I blended some almond, flax seeds, chia seeds, and oh my gosh, it really hit the spot. I then made me some dinner, and it's a really simple wrap, just some olives, spinach, tomatoes, a little bit of jalapeno sauce to go with it. And let me just tell you, dinner was amazing. Today overall was really good. I really hope that your cleanse is going well. Until next time, take care.